Oh. Today, I'm gonna to talk about making leaf compost. And we'll be going around and collecting all the leaves that we already have in our yard. Because we have two huge maple trees here in our backyard. And then there's another one in the front. And uh, maple leaves are actually one of the best leaves to use for making compost and using it for mulch. They have a good amount of nitrogen, other trace minerals. So we're really lucky to have those and it's a completely free resource that we can collect every year and we get tons of them. So we're really excited. And we really need to improve our soil quality here because it's fertile, there's, there's a lot of clay in it and so there's a lot of nutrients, things grow happily but it can be problematic. Uh, it leaves puddles, uh, it gets really hard and cracked on the top. So one of the best things we can do is provide a lot of food for all the wonderful friends that are living in our soil and uh, helping to make it better. Everything from the, the larger invertebrates down to the microscopic bacteria, which there are billions of them and we can't even see them, but we know they're there and they're doing a great job. Thank you very much. We greatly appreciate you. You have to validate them a little bit, you know, give them some, some encouragement. It helps. Uh, but you got to feed them. That's really the, one of the best things overall that you can do for your soil is to provide food for everything that is living there because uh, it just benefits everything. As they move around in the soil and uh, they, they're basically tilling it for you um, as they're, they're devouring all of the uh, organic matter and leaving great nutrients for your plants to use in the future and leaving lots of air pockets which uh, help to trap atmospheric gases and allow water to move through there a lot better and um, having all of the leaf mulch on top and, uh, and decayed uh, organic matter in the soil really soaks up a lot of water so when we get these really heavy rains like we've been getting this year uh, it will just soak that right up and we won't have these puddles everywhere so overall it's just a fantastic benefit to our soil uh, one of the best things that we can do to improve it so let's uh, let's take a look at the leaf bin that we've got so here it is, the uh, not so fancy bin for leaf collection, just chicken wire, a few uh, garden stakes, cardboard around the inside, and that's really all it is. Um, so like I said, been layering in the uh, leaves, we got some twigs from our compost pile, and the uh, big old bag of coffee grounds, used coffee grounds from Starbucks. Um, if that's uh, the way you decide to do it, um, well, be, be aware. The people may look at you weird when you go walking out with a, a bag of this stuff. Um, the one I went to is in the uh, grocery store, and walking out of a grocery store with a big actual garbage bag of wet, sludgy, dark stuff, people look at you real strange. Um, so just, you know, be aware of that. But uh, I got out, okay, and um, this will be great for activating the, all the organic matter in there, getting all the uh, uh, bacteria and everything going. Uh, usually with, with leaf mold, if it's just leaves, it is uh, a fungal activity that is breaking it down, and that's why it takes a lot longer. Um, but we really want to get this going uh, for next spring, so... We're adding more of this stuff that will that will really make it nice and hot. Uh, so that's, uh, that's about all there is to it. Just kind of pile it in there however you want. Uh, like I said, I, I've got the uh, dying plants, or, or tomatoes and peppers and all that stuff uh, that I've been adding in here for some green matter and, and some twigs and branches and uh, all that stuff. So. Basically, it's a compost pile, uh, just mostly mostly leaves that are going to be in there. So that's all it is. Just uh, doesn't need to be anything really complicated as long as it uh, can hold them in there. 
uh, allow some airflow in. If you're trying to do it quickly over the winter like we are, that helps to throw in some cardboard, maybe some plastic over the top to really trap that heat in there. Uh, so now we just need to go around and collect leaves. Uh, you can do that however you want. If you like to just use a rake and a tarp, um, we're going to go around with a mower because uh, with our flat yard, it's a bit easier and faster and uh, it shreds the leaves as it picks them up. So makes it really easy and uh, it's just much more efficient for us. So rather than sitting here jabbering, The whole yard is basically clean and the leaf bin is completely filled to the top. In fact, I had way more than enough to fill that up. So I wound up just putting a bunch in the garden bed and the raised bed. And there's a section around the front of the house where we're setting up uh, a new flower bed for the spring. So even more than that, we still had more in the front yard. And so I just uh, got some garbage bags and put a bunch of those in there, didn't shred them up or anything, just left them whole. And so I got about four bags uh, and I'm sure we'll get a lot more. We can save those for mulch in the spring and to keep adding to this leaf bin as it settles down more. Uh, so we'll have, we'll have plenty. And my wife made a good point too that uh, toward the end, the, the last leaves that we have laying on the ground, we can actually just leave them there, so to speak. And uh, provide a habitat for everything that's that's living in the rest of our yard. Uh, you know, it's it's great to have these for the garden areas, but uh, it's good to have these same benefits for uh, everything else too. So uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. And if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And uh, so if you haven't already, you can subscribe below. Click the little bell icon for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.